This video will talk about the VoiceThread playback settings. These can be set when you create the VoiceThread or can be modified anytime thereafter. So to edit, so you see I'm on, I'm in a VoiceThread already. To edit that VoiceThread, I'd come up here to the upper left-hand portion of my screen, three horizontal lines icon. Some people call this the hamburger button. So I'll click on the hamburger button and select edit. Same screen I saw when I created my voice set to begin with. And then come over here to the right hand side and select options and then playback settings. And so the playback options, so the thread settings, playback options tab automatically opens. You might notice the title. It's right next to the title. So if, when I'm making it for the first time, I give it a title. Those playback options are right there. So I could do this when I initially create my voice thread, but it, I can get there anytime thereafter by, remember where I was. So when you're in a voice thread, I'm on the last slide here. So I was on the first slide earlier. Go to the hamburger button, edit, options, playback settings. And that's how you get there. And so there are a number of settings an instructor can choose depending on what he or she wants to do with his voice thread. So uh, one of the options, enable threaded commenting, that will allow students not able uh, not only to add a comment to a slide, but they could respond to comments each other have made. Allow commenters to add slides to this voice thread. So I think in the uh, the other voice thread are exciting vacation activities. I allowed you to add your own picture at the end. That option was checked on. If you want the students to just view what's there, you can turn that off. Allow others to download original media, allow others to export, start playing with opened. It's up to you whether you leave those on or off. Allow others to make a copy. So that would be that would allow them to make in voice thread, take your voice thread and make a copy of it for themselves. Again, it's up to you whether you want to turn that on or off. Enable comment moderation. So what that will do when a student comments on a slide, their comment is saved, but not displayed to other students. You as the instructor can see it, but other students cannot. Uh, that's useful if you are concerned uh, about what your students might write and want to take an eye on them before the rest of the class sees it. Enable comment moderation. This feature is also useful if you want to use VoiceThread as an assessment. So I know in the past, elementary teachers, elementary world language teachers used VoiceThread for their PALS assessment. So the slide was the speaking prompt students were to respond to. Student added a, an audio comment where they recorded their speaking in the target language. It saved on the slide. Comments were moderated, so those student comments saved on the slide. The teacher could see them all, but they were not displayed to other students until and unless the teacher made them appear. So that's a comment moderation is a nice feature if you want to use VoiceThread for an assessment. Also notice here you can restrict restrict the methods of commenting. So we saw earlier microphone, webcam, telephone, file, upload, and text. If you want to turn any of those off for some reason, you can. If you want the voice thread to automatically advance after a certain amount of time, you can do that too. If you don't want to students to be able to delete their own comments. By default, you as the instructor can delete anything. Commenters, your yes, students, can only delete their own. And if you check that box, they won't even be able to do that. And next, limit each comment to, so if your students are very long-winded and you want to uh, force them to leave brief comments. You can limit each comment to, by default, it's 60 minutes. Nobody is going to leave a voice thread comment that is an hour long. But if you want to reduce them to, say, four minutes in their comments, you could do that. And there's some other options down here at the bottom that I don't use. Save as default. If you have a set of settings that you always want to use, you might want to select that. And then go ahead and save. Those comments have been those uh, settings have been saved.